Nolan Ryan's fastball was one of the most talked about tales in baseball for decades. With consistent speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour, batters were left amazed but often defeated. However, was his fastball truly unhittable? Let's delve into the legacy of this eight-time all-star baseball icon to find out. From the moment he was born in 1947 in Refurio, Texas, it was clear that Ryan was destined for greatness on the baseball diamond. Some say he even came into the world with a baseball in one hand and a spitball in the other. But before he became a household name in baseball, Ryan was just a small town cowboy with big dreams. Even as a kid, Ryan had a passion for baseball that burned brighter than the Texas sun. He spent countless hours playing catch with his dad and brother in their backyard and practicing his pitching by hurling objects at a target. And when his dad noticed how much he loved the sport, he knew he had to support him in every way possible. So he did what any loving father would do. He built a wooden pitching mound in the backyard for Ryan to practice on. But it was when Ryan reached high school that his talent truly shone. Joining the baseball team at Alvin High School, he dominated Gulf Coast baseball in his senior year, pitching the Alvin Yellow Jackets into the Texas High School State Finals in Austin. During the spring of 1965, Ryan pitched in 27 games, starting 20, and finished with an astounding 12 complete games, 211 strikeouts, and only 61 walks and his coach and teammates knew they had something special on their hands. They even called him a wheel horse for his incredible work ethic and dedication. But Ryan's path to success only became clearer when he was drafted in the 12th round of the MLB draft by the New York Mets. Little did he know he was about to embark on a journey that would make him one of the most legendary pitchers in the game. From his first season with the Mets, it was clear that Ryan was different. His fastball was so impressive that minor league hitters couldn't touch him, and he struck out an average of 14 batters per nine innings. When he made his MLB debut in 1968, it was nothing short of thunderous. He pitched shutouts, threw complete games, and struck out batters left and right. Even Orlando Cepeda, the 1967 MVP, called him the best young pitcher he had ever seen. Despite his early success, Ryan's career record with the Mets was only 29-38, and 38, with an average of six walks per game. It wasn't until he was traded to the California Angels in 1971 that his major breakthrough came. Over the next eight seasons with the Angels, Ryan would go on to solidify his place as one of the toughest pitchers in the game's history. As an Angel, Ryan set records left and right. In 1973, he set a new record for the most strikeouts in a single season with 383 and also tied Sandy Koufax's career record by throwing four no-hitters and had four other 300 strikeout seasons. He dominated the league with strikeouts every season except for one. He even broke records with his incredible fastball, setting a world record for the fastest time pitched at a blazing speed of 100.9 miles per hour. With an ERA slightly above 3.00 in his 288 California starts, Ryan averaged seven and a third innings per start and won 20 or more games twice with 19 victories two other times. And during his eight seasons with the Angels, Ryan had an impressive record of 138 and 121 with a jaw-dropping 3.07 ERA and 1.29 whip. He struck out 2,416 batters and through an impressive 156 complete games in over 2,181 innings across 288 starts. On November 19, 1979, Ryan shattered records as the first baseball player to sign a million dollar contract, securing a $4.5 million deal with the Houston Astros as a free agent. And even with the Astros, Ryan dominated the team with his blistering fastball and along with his devastating curveball and wicked slider, he was practically unhittable. Two-time MVP Dale Murphy once said of Ryan, he is the only pitcher you start thinking about two days before you face him. Even the great Pete Rose couldn't help but heap praise on him. At the age of 41, Nolan Ryan is the top power pitcher in the league. You can talk about Dwight Gooden. You can talk about Mike Scott. You can talk about whoever you want, but none of them throw as consistently hard as Ryan does. 
Ryan spent a remarkable nine seasons with the Houston Astros, during which he compiled an impressive 106-94 record in 282 starts. With a 3.13 ERA and 1.20 whip, he struck out 1,866 batters and walked just 796 in over 1,854 innings pitched. However, after a contract dispute following the 1988 season, Ryan left Houston and signed with the Texas Rangers at the age of 42. But even in the twilight of his career, Ryan continued to pitch like a champ. When he joined the Rangers, he brought a level of credibility that the team had never experienced before. And in the following three years, Ryan had a performance that can only be described as greatness. During this time, he had a record of 41 and 25 with a 3.16 ERA and struck out more batters than anyone else in the American League, 736. He pitched through the fifth inning in 54 of his 59 starts and had a strikeout to walk ratio better than three to one. But that's not all. Ryan kept racking up milestones that overshadowed his contributions every fifth day in the rotation. In August 1989, he achieved career strikeout number 5,000, which left baseball fans in awe. Later that year, he had his sixth 300K season. On July 31, 1990, he won his 300th game in the major leagues, beating the Brewers in Milwaukee. And on May 1, 1991, he shut down Toronto, the league's best hitting team, to record his seventh no-hitter. In his five seasons with the Rangers, Ryan had accumulated a 51-39 record, a 3.43 ERA, 1.12 whip, 353 walks, and 939 strikeouts in 840 innings over 129 starts. He also made history by being the first player to play for all four original MLB expansion teams, the Mets, Angels, Houston Astros, and Texas Rangers. There's no denying that Nolan Ryan was one of the toughest pitchers the game has ever seen. With over 5,700 strikeouts in his career, eight All-Star games, a National League ERA title, a career ERA of 3.19, a two-time Cy Young Award, and even a record 324 wins throughout his career, he was truly a powerhouse. Although home runs and hits weren't really Nolan's game, he was a pitcher after all, but he managed to get a few hits in his career and even hit a few home runs. Not bad for a guy whose primary job was throwing strikes, right? Now. Let's take a trip down memory lane to one of the most epic moments when Nolan Ryan showed the world just how much of a tough guy he really was on the pitching mound. It was back in 1993, and Ryan was pitching for the Texas Rangers against the Chicago White Sox. Everything was going smoothly until White Sox third baseman Robin Ventura charged the mound after Ryan hit him with a pitch. But little did Ventura know, he was up against one of the strongest and most resilient pitchers ever. Ryan quickly put Ventura in a headlock and started raining punches on him six times before the catcher finally pulled Ventura away from Ryan. However, Ventura was ejected, but Ryan was allowed to remain in the game, and he pitched a hitless ball the rest of the game. And you know what Ryan had to say about it later? That it was the same maneuver he used on steers he had to brand on his Texas ranch. Unfortunately, that same year, Ryan's career came to a bittersweet end after Ryan tore the ulnar collateral ligament in his right elbow during a game in September. But his retirement wasn't the end for him. It was just the beginning of another great legacy in his life. The Texas-born baseball legend founded the Nolan Ryan Foundation, which has since become a beacon of hope for youth baseball programs nationwide. He also served as a special assistant to the Houston Astros and as the CEO of the Texas Rangers. In 1999, he was officially sworn in to the Baseball Hall of Fame. However, life after baseball was not without its challenges. In 2000, Ryan suffered a heart attack that required double bypass surgery. Thankfully, he recovered and went on to achieve even greater success in his post-baseball career, receiving numerous accolades and honors for his outstanding contributions to the sport including the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2021. In short, Nolan Ryan Jr. was the real deal when it came to baseball. He was a living legend, a straight-up superstar, and a man who will forever be remembered as one of the toughest pitchers in baseball history. But hey, you may have a different opinion. So, was anyone tougher than Nolan Ryan? Let us know in the comments section below. That's all for today. 
Until we come your way again, keep aiming at the fences.